Hi, welcome to Kill a Hope, live at Sundance. I'm Ted Hope. I'm Christine Vashon. And we're here with Elizabeth Olsen, who's here at Sundance with two world premieres, Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene, and Silent House. Yep. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so these are, these are your first films, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I filmed one movie before these two, but then that, that's it. Two out of three. Making it at Sundance. <laughs> so how does that feel? Is it must be a complete whirlwind to have one Silent House premiered last night and Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene just premiered. Yeah, it's um, what's really cool is to actually um, try and promote it because I, I just am learning about the independent film world and how you have to, you know, fight to get distribution <laughs> and all that good stuff. So um, I, I really just hope that they both get picked up while they're here. You know, one thing when I um, I was on the jury here a few years ago, so was Ted, uh, and I always... Can you, what's the jury? Sorry. The jury... Um, <laughs> I'm so new. No I'm so problem. new. <laughs> no problem. The dramatic jury, meaning the people that give the prizes okay. at the end of the festival. Yes, the 16 films are competing. Right. Exactly. And that's the jury. Got and it. Are both her movies in dramatic competition? No, no. Martha, 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 Martha and Marlene. Marlene. One of the things that was kind of cool about that was seeing people premiere their films like just every day seeing like another couple of movies premiering and how emotional everybody got. Yeah. And it got me very emotional. Was it emotional for you? It was. It was, um, I, I kind of just felt like my feet were not on the ground. Like when I saw Sean Durkin, who's the director of Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene, I kind of like had a frolic and skipped to him. Um, and so, <laughs> like, I don't know why, like in my body, I didn't have like the ability to just walk in a straight line. Um, I'm just like overwhelmed with, of being really excited. I don't have like this like cathartic like ah like, tear moment. I just am like super super stoked, stoked. Now, now, had you was it always the the dream the plan to to be an actress? Yeah, it and, was. And you just you just started th th this past year, right? And got these yeah. two leads. Yeah, I started. Well, um, I I go to school at NYU at Tisch, and I went to the Atlantic Theater Company there, and it was actually through them that I started getting work, through my teachers there, because they would have me audition for understudies for um, whatever off-Broadway or Broadway play they were producing. And so that's how I started working, and then that's how I met an agent, and then that's how I started auditioning. And I started auditioning um, a year ago in January. I can't think of so anything harder than the audition process. I love, like, I love it, I love it. I have like so much fun. You're being judged, you go out there. I really like, like it. Do you love me? You don't want me? No, I can't. I, I mean, it's funny how, so, like, because, like, I guess, you know, at certain, some point you just get offered parts. But I think there's something really cool about the process of, like, actually having to figure out how, like, how you would approach a character and being with the casting director and the director in that room at the beginning of the, of, of the process, I think, is actually pretty cool instead of just, like, accepting something and I'll deal with it later. I think it's, I, I like the audition process. I just, you know, I, I must confess, you know, as I was also the executive producer of the film, when, when I heard that Sean wanted to cast a unknown, I was like, forget about it. <laughs> we can't have her in the movie. They, they were, you know, well established. That's why it's so hard to get a job as a <laughs> those jerks, those executive producers. People like you. That's right. But well, you, I end up working out. So and, and it God. was the and it was the audition process you know it's one of the things when I think sometimes about like what's wrong with the business sometimes people don't want their clients to audition once you reach a level right right or even before they reach a level yeah I mean you know it's it's true I, I mean I agree with you a hundred percent it's it's also kind of each time we go through an audition process we learn more about the movie and we yeah. learn more about the script we learn more about the director the director learns all those things too and it's a terrific process when you get based just on offering parts you know, based on prior work, it, it does take something away from, yeah. from, you know, what happens between the page and the screen. Yeah. I, I heard that Sam Rockwell, um, he, even when he's offered a part, he refuses to accept it until he reads with the director. That's pretty cool. He did a reading for us, uh, you know, precisely that process. Yeah. And, and I, think that's, us, I think that's super, I think <laughs> that's super cool. One of the things we want to talk about on the show is social media. And, um, you know, obviously it's, everybody's talking a lot about its effect on the movies that we're making, on how we're getting them out to an audience, how we're finding our audience. Mm -hmm. 
And I was just wondering, you know, is that something that you're thinking about? Um, you know, do you have a Twitter account? No, I don't. I have, I have a Facebook account that I did start when I went to college because it's kind of what you do to stay in touch with high school friends and to make new friends. Um, but it's, you know, it's, that's the only purpose for it. Twitter, like my friends who I think are funny, they'll like post, they'll like tell me to like look up something and I will and I'll laugh and it's just, it's, I, I understand how it, it, it's helpful for branding and I, it's helpful for sales, but I think as an actor who's like not trying to brand themselves and I think your work should speak for yourself and work begets work. But I, I also understand, you know, the whole self-promotion thing. I just, I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of invasive in a, in a weird way if it's not for a purpose, if it's mm -hmm. not like to oh. promote a film, if it's, but they have, you know, so many people are branding themselves these, these well, that's, days. I, I had a film recently that got financed partially because members of the cast had built such a large following. Right. They didn't have uh, foreign value as it used to be phrased, you know, that yeah. they hadn't done movies that played overseas right. to large audiences, but they had millions of followers. And people said, wow, that, you know, that could be worth something yeah. and bring people in to the audience. And I also always think, um, about the way audiences change and engage with movies. You know, we used to all have a passive experience where we would sit back and just, you know, let, let the film be directed in front of us. And as fun as that is, I think people also want to be able to participate, you know, in culture and yeah. media, um, you know, to, to remix it for themselves, to have some way that they can enter in. And sometimes it's precisely that, you know, peek behind the curtain, um, you know, allow, saying, you know, man, it's really hard. I'm terrified of getting this role. I'm yeah. terrified I won't get right. this role. But um, that's not really what people tweet. I mean, people tend to tweet, you know, when I followed your tweets on Super, you never tweeted stuff like, um, you know, man, we lost the light and the actress <laughs> wouldn't come out of her trailer. Or, you know, you just tweeted like, great day. I wasn't and quite that. Was fantastic. No, I did not yes, do anything did. like that. I said, how many setups we were getting? <laughs> Look. I do, I do mm. see why, why it is important now, and I do understand. It's just, I don't know, my, my parents like just got email, and my mom doesn't know how to check her, her voicemail on her cell phone. And so I, I'm, not, I'm not incapable. I just kind of like, I, like well. personally, for me, I understand how it helps, it how it helps sell things, but it's like so much, so much work. To, well, your mom to... tweeted me a question. <laughs> That she wanted to ask you, and she wanted to know, are you getting a good night's sleep? Because that's still what's most important. What can I send her back? You could tell her that I can sleep because I was so excited. Elizabeth's mom, what a great handle. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, my, my, my family, we're just, we're not very big on that. But I, I don't know, I think it differs from people, like a lot of my friends say, like, you know, you need to, you need to kind of get with it a little bit, because I also... I, I still don't know if it's the, the difference between a router and a router, and that's just kind of like a stupid thing. <laughs> it's just kind of like my own fault. But I don't know, technology and me are just so, we're worlds apart. I often hear the, the line come in, something to the effect of, look, I'm an artist. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not a salesperson. You know, uh, those two things. Why are you telling me that I have to go out there and push your movie to an audience? Like, do you feel like you want to maintain that line of... No, I think, well, because... Because that sounds like someone's, um, you know, rejecting like any type of publicity. And I think, like, the, I'm so excited for tomorrow and Sunday to be all about press because I want people to know about the movie, right? And I want people to see the movies and be interested in them. Um, I think that I, I think that's completely helpful. But when it becomes like my own personal time, you know, a private life, right? To do, to right. Do you have that. that? I have, I have so much of that, it's great. <laughs> your, your enthusiasm up on stage today with, at the premiere of uh, mm, mm -hmm. what was infectious. It was so much fun to kind of see that and see that whole crowd of actors up there, you know, happy to be there. Yeah, it's, that was really cool. That was, just, that was just cool. It was also kind of awkward and you kind of had to embrace it because like, you didn't know where to step, where to move. Right. But, um, <laughs> You danced, danced across the stage. I danced across the stage because I didn't know. I was like, "Oh, we're in a theater. I can just project my answers." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "You want to use a mic?" And I was like, "Okay, good That'll idea." <laughs>
So, yeah. Well, look, good luck. Thank you know, you. good luck with both movies. And thank you so much for joining us. Cool, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs>